The Calcutta High Court order on adolescent girls is what the top court has commented on. The Supreme Court has said that judges should not preach. The Calcutta High Court, remember, had said earlier that teenagers must control their sexual urges. This was pertaining specifically to teenage girls. The High Court of Calcutta also had said that girls should give in to, should not give in to two minutes of pleasure. And now the top court has rebuked the Calcutta High Court for its statement. My colleague Harish joins us with more on this. Harish, what an absolutely shocking statement made by the Calcutta High Court asking teenage girls to control their sexual urges and rightly so getting a rebuke from the top court. What did the Supreme Court say? Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, Supreme Court has uh, taken a serious note of the observation made in the Calcutta High Court's October 18 judgment that every female adolescent needs to control sexual urge as otherwise in the eyes of the society, she is a loser. Uh, when she gives in to enjoy the sexual pressure of hardly two minutes, uh, taking so much the cognizance, uh, the Supreme Court has said the comments were objectionable and unwarranted, completely in violation of rights of adolescents under Article 21 of the Constitution, and said that in such cases, judges no, are not expected to express personal views or preach. We find that many parts of the, uh, some certain prayers are highly objectionable. This is what the Supreme Court has said, and saying so, uh, agreeing to examine the judgment and the observations closely and to lay down guidelines. Supreme Court has issued notice to the victim girl and also the state of West Bengal. And Supreme Court has appointed senior advocate Madhavi Diwan as a Amicus Curie in the matter to assist the court. Remember, the Calcutta High Court in a judgment on October 18th had also urged adolescent girls not to get swayed for two minutes for, of pleasure and to control sexual impulse. The court advised adolescent boys to respect girls and women alike, along with their dignity and bodily autonomy. Uh, the order had, the High Court order had outlined a set of duties for adolescent girls and boys concerning sexual urges and relationships. The judges uh, made suggestions, all these suggestions, while acquitting a youth convicted for raping a minor girl. Uh, the, according to the court, the boy was involved in a romantic affair with the minor girl. So, uh, as you rightly said, very strong observation from the Supreme Court as well as these comments of the uh, yeah. High Court is concerned. The court has said they are objectionable and unwarranted and completely in violation of rights of adolescents under Article 21 of the Constitution, that's your right to life. Okay.